Welcome back, we are here on eToro and for this video I'm going to show uh, some of the trades that I have been uh, making the past uh, few trading days uh, from Monday and of course today. Uh, and the first is the Nasdaq. So on Monday uh, we had this uh, massive uh, candlestick here. So the Nasdaq has been trading in um, in a line here. We can basically put it up here. So within this area. So what I expected was that if we basically broke this area, then we would go significantly higher, or or we would go significantly lower. And because we have been just bouncing within this range now for quite a long time. And what happened is basically we went really high and then we just exploded to the downside. So I made this trade. Um, I, was, I was about to leave the trade because I expected basically to go. Uh, as this went higher, I, went, I was probably basically going to continue upwards. Uh, but uh, I got lucky and uh, uh, this uh, fell again and, and made a quite a good profit. Um, however, I should hold on to this uh, trade for basically uh, one more day because the next day we, of course, had uh, a very, um, a very uh, bearish candlestick here and we went all the way down to, uh, to um, 10,300. Uh, 10,400 or something like that. And now we have um, basically risen again. And this is mainly due to the, um, the, the news of a new uh, vaccine uh, for the coronavirus. And of course, the entire market today just exploded. I kind of expected it you know, when we got to this point it, to test this, um, this support uh, line here. But we didn't. At the moment, we're just trading sideways. Um, if we um, test these highs again around to 11,000, I will be a um, seller again. And if we get close to this support, uh, support uh, line here, I will be a buyer. Um, this is quite a nice trade, to be fairly honest, because it has been behaving in the same pattern for a very long time. So the other trade I did was copper. So copper just fell off a cliff due to the coronavirus. It went all the way down to uh, uh, 11690, which is really low for copper. And since then, it uh, basically exploded to the upside. So there is a area here which has been uh, significant resistant uh, in the past. And I expected when we got to this level, which is just about the 3,000, uh, no, uh, yeah, um, the three, uh, yeah, three dollars uh, range, that we basically would go uh, run into uh, resistant. And we did. We basically hit. It was basically in the in the Asian session. We ran into um, this area here, and we just had a massive pullback. So this was a fairly good trade. Uh, since then, we have been trading sideways, and at the moment, because the indicators are showing that we are about to uh, be trending downwards. And we are also significantly overbought. I kind of expect us to go lower from here. Uh, not a lot lower, probably down to around uh, this area here uh, before we uh, go and retest uh, the um, 3000 level here. That, if that is the case, uh, then I'll be, this is basically. Uh, a good buying opportunity if it falls and goes up again. Um, because you can see, also see the indicator of MACD is about to to, uh, to cross the signal line. And again, it will go down. We have the stochastic here that is indicating going down. And the same goes for the RSI. 
all indicators indicate that we will go lower from here and then we will most likely go higher or retest this area. However, this is going to be um, a really tough area to get through. And if we get through this, we'll basically go much, much higher than that. The next level is here. The significant level is 3.3. 3. So, um, yeah, this is... Uh, there will be a, this will be interesting whether or not we can break this uh, 3,000 level here. And uh, the next trade I did was Tesla. So this is, um, yeah, I always laugh when I look at this graph because it reminds me of Bitcoin and uh, Tesla is technically behaving like, like Bitcoin. And um, I'll probably step on many people's feet at the moment when I say I'm not a fan of Tesla. I don't believe in this company. I don't believe this is a future. Um, this is a short-term solution to to um, uh, to the automotive industry. Um, I just don't believe that electric cars are the future. Uh, uh, when hydrogen gets improved and costs it goes down, then we will basically see an absolute crash in this market. They will have absolutely no chance. However, Tesla, because of rumors that they were going to uh, Tesla was going to join the S and P five hundred, uh, we basically exploded to almost eighteen hundred dollars per share. Eighteen hundred is only a few weeks ago, a few months ago. I mean, uh, trade that Tesla was trading at three three hundred and sixty three, and now this was basically in March. And now we have July, and it is trading at 1800 level. What well, was trading at 1800 level, which is fairly ridiculous. There is, there is nothing to justify this, uh, this move here. Nothing. I think Tesla has one quarter of profit. I think that. Uh, correct me in the comment sense, uh, comment sense uh, section if if I'm going wrong, if I said it wrong here. I think they have only one quarter. I can I can look it up later. Uh, but it's not a company that 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 has had constant profits for a very long time. And yeah, so I don't know why this is happening. This is uh, technically behaving. If I had a had a graph of Bitcoin. This, it will look very similar to, to this. So every single time I see, um, let's see a stock or any other instrument behaving in this way, so irrationally like, like uh, Tesla is doing or Bitcoin was doing back then and so on, I go in and short. So I was quite late in shorting. I I just didn't expect it to go this high. It just exploded. I think I entered the market around um, 1,733 or something like in this around this area and started shorting. And I technically expected it to go um, a little bit lower. I did not expect it to completely collapse. So what happened is, is on Monday, it went all the way up to around 1800 and then it completely collapsed in the late in the afternoon to uh, 1484 i should have held <laughs> i should have held my short to be fairly honest uh, this was probably would have been one of my best trades ever however i didn't i yeah i i sold my shorts way before this um so uh, yeah, so because, probably because it it just has been behaving so irrationally. I, I, even though I don't believe in this company, I would not be surprised if it went all the way to five thousand in 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 a short period of time. Uh, I'm not buying this. It a stock that basically increases decreases with uh, ten to fifteen, eighteen percent, and so on. That is just not normal. Uh, healthy uh, companies don't behave like this. If you look at companies like Apple or or Amazon or 
or Microsoft and so on, they have a gradually uh, increase in, in um, the price of their stock. They don't have this enormous increase of around, I think it's around, I don't know, uh, uh, nearly 500% um, in a, a few months. Normal stocks don't do that. That is just a stock that is completely overbought. Um, so I'm just waiting uh, for the stock to go a little bit higher, probably around 1700, and then I'll short it again. Um, I do expect that to happen, to be very honest. Not at this point, because at the moment, indicators are showing, especially the, the stochastic showing, that we are going a, a, a little bit down, probably on tomorrow will go a little bit lower and Friday will go higher. As you can see, the stochastic has been in this area. Every single time it goes around 60 or 55 over here, uh, then it goes back up. It It is that bullish, this, mar this market, this stock. Um, you can see the, the RSI is uh, overbought, is at 80 at the moment. And last time we were here, around uh, this area here we had this massive fall this was basically prior to the coronavirus so one of the big problems i also have with this stock and because i'm not buying is because of the ceo so um some people just think he's the best ceo in the world i just don't think he's the best ceo in the world i will make um uh, a video about uh, Tesla in the coming future, uh, where I basically go into the details with their finances or and what technically Tesla does. Tesla is not just a, a car maker; they produce many other products as well. Uh, cars is probably what they're most known for, uh, but their CEO usually tweets. Uh, most of the time, very stupid tweets, which have a significant effect on the price of uh, Tesla. Um, I don't know why he does that. He should just stop tweeting. So what I'm afraid of here and why I'm not, I would not buy is because uh, he has proven in the past that if uh, he basically tweets, then it has the same effect as Donald Trump's, Trump's tweet. The market completely crashes. I I didn't have an example here, but but there are examples when he basically went out tweeting and then the market just lost, the value of the stock lost like 15% and something like, like that. So, but Tesla is still way overbought and this is still a market that I'm interested in shorting at the moment so uh, the next is uh, the euro us dollar so this was not a market that i was planning on uh, buying or selling however the euro got to a very interesting level and is still at a very interesting level um if we look at how the euro and the US dollar uh, or this pair behaved in the in March when we had the outbreak in the coronavirus, we had this massive surge to the upside and then a complete collapse. And then when this uh, currency started trading sideways, and since then we have had this gradual um, uh, increase um, in the currency. Um, and at this point, I kind of expect this currency to go higher. I started shorting this. I did make a profit. However, it was not a lot. And I got out of the market because I technically changed my mind. Um, I expected us to run into significant resistance at this point. However, I'm doubtful whether or not we are going to see a retest of the 50 minute average or if we go to much higher levels. 
So if we were to break this uh, top here, this uh, um, it's 1150 level, then we would go much, much higher. We would you know, technically see a trend change. And, um, and this is a case where you basically buy and hold this currency for 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 years for for two three four years uh, if that is the case so we'll um and probably the reason uh, one of the main reason why we we are seeing this uh, train change is because of the federal reserve so because of the uh, federal reserve just pumping uh, dollars into the market in order to keep it afloat there there the value of the dollar is just decreasing. Uh, if you look at the dollar, for example, uh, this is the index uh, where the dollar compares to other uh, other indexes. And we can see that we're just in a massive downtrend uh, with, uh, with the US dollar. It's just getting weaker and weaker and weaker. And, and because of that, there is also at a very significant uh, support level here. If we were to break the support level, then we'll go and retest the, the lows of the in, the in March when we when the coronavirus basically hit. And after that, we just go lower. And I kind of expect that is what's going to happen. As long as the Federal Reserve just it pumps money into the market, the dollar will just become weaker and weaker and weaker, and the other currency will become stronger. Of course, um, other central banks are also doing similar uh, policies, but I think the Federal Reserve's policies have been uh, very aggressive, and because the uh, political situation in the United States is so dire at the moment, and they have complete incompetence in basically handling the coronavirus compared to to uh, to for example european countries and in the asian countries that the united states will drag it will take longer for the economy in the united states to to get out of this crisis compared to to europe and to the asian countries and so on so expect dollar to Get weaker and also, um, also uh, the other currencies to basically, for example, the euro and um, the U.S. dollar, the Aussie, the U.S. dollar, the, uh, the sterling, the, um, the the U.S. dollar. These current currencies will just increase in value, and we will probably see a massive trend change. Um, in the uh, euro US dollar uh, to the upside if we break this level that is this basically was a massive resistance and at the moment I'm just gonna wait if we break this uh, this level here I will be a buyer and this will be something I will hold on for a, a significant amount of time uh, another trade I did was uh, Kokoa is here so on monday we were here or we actually were there i technically expected um this market to go and retest the 15 moving average so i did buy and i did make a quite a profit uh but but um technically the situation changed because um, news came out of California that that California was shutting uh, all indoor activities, and of course, this market gets uh, hit quite substantially uh, when basically service sectors uh, go um, uh, shut down, and that's why we see this massive decline um, in because of the service sector shutting down. So I left the trade, and uh, I don't expect this to go and retest the 15-week average anytime soon uh, because of the, the, of the cases. Um, so the same may happen in Florida, same may happen 
in Texas and Arizona and so on, many of the states uh, in the United States uh, may restrict uh, indoor activities and so on. And that was just that's just going to drag this uh, market even lower. So um, it looked promising, but of course, bad news can always affect this mar uh, any market, and um, everybody should be aware of that and um, and technically get out of the market um, before um, the bad news can really hurt your account. So um, I will up basically be looking at some new trades for uh, not this week, but next week. Um, I usually look at not too many. There were a few uh, trades that I that I was interested in. Uh, I did make a trade in Airbus. It may look promising at the moment. Um, I also was looking at uh, Carnival Cruise which uh, today exploded to the upsides and um, and uh, I didn't I got a lot of uh, bad uh, comments because I made a video about the carnival cruise a few weeks ago about the stock decreasing and that is still my point of view I just don't believe in carnival cruise at the moment as long as we don't have a vaccine it may increase uh, 15 20 percent in a day still in the long run um, they're burning through so much cash and um, they will release their earnings I think it's uh, in the end of this month and that of course will have a significant effect on on, um, on their stock expect a massive decline when that uh, that occurs if even hasn't been priced in already so uh, yes uh, good luck trading, and um, if you find this video uh, uh, helpful, you're welcome to subscribe to our channel by clicking the support button and uh, like our video. Uh, thank you very much, and good luck.